So to, surat, that was Surat 37 verse 12. Open your file. 37 verse 12. 37. 37. Yeah. I'm sure you know that since you said yeah, you've done the homework. Yeah. Okay, it's this one, isn't it? It's this one. Surah 37? Right, so Is that Surah 37? Yeah, yeah. You're amazed as they ridicule. Okay. Right? You know, you're amazed. Now, this is the commentary, right? That's not the commentary, that's the footnote. Okay, that's the footnote. Right. Yeah, there are two different so things, by the way. This is the uh, this the one where it says rather, that's where it signifies about the uh, amazed bit. So, rather, I gravely noticed as they ridicule. So, it is you were amazed, now I amazed. It doesn't so, say amazed, does it? You said that, you know, in one know. of them it is you, in other one it is I. Is there a different? Together. But they work together. Brother, yeah, they are work you together. still English? Just I am still English. Yeah. You are still English. <laughs> Can you tell me you what tell is me the difference? What does it say amazed? Focus, 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 focus. Okay. Okay. Bring your ears. Yeah. I see ya, ears see ya. Okay. What is the difference between I and you? I, you, <laughs> so, uh, No, I didn't get it. It's, uh, listen, are you listening? Yes. Yeah. What is the difference between I and you? It's the difference between I am hungry and you are hungry. Okay. So what is the difference? Just ask him a question. No, no, no. I'm no, trying to understand. I'm, he's not here to be barbecued. I know. <laughs> you, you, you made stupid claim. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, is it yeah. Allah who is amazed or it is Muhammad or Muslims who are amazed? Right. Well, in the Quran, if it no, says no. I am amazed, in the Quran, it means Allah. No, no. Allah he, he said he did his homework. So, yeah. let's, let's hear. Is it Allah or Muhammad who is amazed? If, Tell me, says, is there a difference if the Quran says I am amazed. amazed, if Quran says I am amazed, it means Allah is amazed. So okay. If Quran says you are amazed, it means Muhammad. Is there a difference well, between Muhammad Allah and Muhammad? Muhammad? You've asked me this question before. Yes, Answer. Is there a difference between Allah and Muhammad? Why can't you look at this? Rather, I gravely noticed. It's not rather I was amazed. It's rather I gravely noticed. So who is that I? Who is that I? Of course, that's that. Wait, the I is Allah. And I is Allah. Go to the Quranic verse. Go to, on the top. Right, right. Who is that? Who is that you? The you is Muhammad. Okay. Yes. So in the Quran, in that Quran, it is you, and then you come to the right. footnote. It says there is a Quran which right. is I. Let me ask you. Let me ask you basic question. Is there a difference between Allah? And Muhammad. Is there a difference between noticing Allah and cannot being read and write. Is there Muhammad a cannot read and write. And Allah has two Don't right hands. How many how many right hands does Muhammad have? in front of my face. Because literally sir, the, word, the word noticing and the word sir, amazed is different. Sir, yes. Who is the one who is amazed or who is the one who is noticed? Who is right, that person? Right. It works together and I'll tell you why. It gives a deeper meaning. That's the purpose of the paper. Are they same or different? Oh man. Are you, like seriously go and do like I don't know where they learn where they teach alphabet. Which level? Primary school. Primary school. Please go to the primary school and then ask the teacher. Is there a difference between I sorry I and you? Is there a difference between Allah and Muhammad? I know that they've got some common thing, okay? Allah cannot read and write. Muhammad cannot read and write. Allah cannot balance. Can Muhammad cannot balance. Can Allah full of lust. Muhammad full of lust. So, they are the common things. Is there a difference, according to you, between Allah and Muhammad? Okay. First of all, first of all, the verse clearly says, like I said in the beginning, rather I gravely notice as they ridicule. And then in the Quranic verse, it says, you were amazed. Well, uh, you were amazed as they ridicule. Okay, so, so the, the part I am focused. Listen, yeah, the, the part I am, I am yes, focusing yes, is yes, yes. I and I you, and because you. that right. is changing right. Right. from Allah to Let Muhammad. Let me tell you one. Who is the one who is amazed? Right. First of all, Allah wasn't amazed. But let's try. Allah it. wasn't. He wasn't amazed. He knew. Okay, so when, when when the Quran says I. Allah is lying or that Quran is false? No, it works together. Let me tell you why. No, no, no. Just answer very basic question. When it says I, is Allah lying? No. No. Okay. When it says I, is that Quran rubbish? Is that Quran should to be put in the bin? Is that wrong Quran? It's not because it's different than it is. Is that is that right Quran or wrong Quran? Like, okay, in my sense, that's right Quran. Yeah, that's, that's right Quran. So, because when it says, listen, when it says, I, Allah is the one who is amazed, okay? 
So you are saying that is not Allah who is amazed, but that is right Quran. I didn't understand that. Explain it to me. Okay, well, I'll explain it to you plainly. Right? So, rather I gravely notice as they ridicule, the word gravely noticing, right, means that Allah knew. He saw it happening. Right? Whilst Muhammad was amazed because he didn't know it was happening, but now he found out. Allah is the all knowing, therefore he only noticed. Whilst Muhammad was amazed, because of course he didn't know, he's only human, he's not divine. I really okay, encourage you to go to the primary school and then learn what is the difference between I and you. My basic question is very simple. What's the difference between noticing and being amazed? There's a, there's a Sir, that's not my focus. My focus so question is. So there are two differences between the different Kirat then. Well, see, I only in do, that sentence, but that's, that's not what I am focusing. The part I am focusing okay. is it is who is the subject? Who is the subject in that sentence? Allah or Muhammad? Right, the purpose of these different Kirat Who is the subject in the correct Quran? Let me go. Can I answer this? I don't want you to, I, I want you to make it very simple. Yes, make Who it, is the subject in the correct Quran? Right. So, yesterday, yesterday, I saw, I did a little bit of research on the Qur'an, right? I'm on the topic, don't worry. Different Qur'ans, if they might have different, you know, different meanings, those two different meanings, they work together, as in, they give a deeper meaning, basically. So, Allah and Muhammad works together, and then they go to the park. Allah and Muhammad works together, they fit the ducks. Is that what you are saying, sir? Subject is different. I know there is something in the brain doesn't get it, okay? Maybe it is just you've done, you've been here three weeks and that in homework you've done in three weeks frozen your brain so far. Allah and Muhammad are two different beings. Unless they are mixed matched as the Christmas turkey or something. You, I, two different things. Who is the subject in the Quran? There are two different Qurans, okay? Which Quran is the one which is the correct Quran? You were the one last week who told us there is only one Quran. So in that only one Quran, is it Allah the subject or is Muhammad the subject in Surah 37 verse 12? I'll give you the answers first. It's How good. can it be bought? Because Brother, you are English. Yes. How can it be bought? Is it saying Allah and Muhammad going and feeding the donkeys? Allah and Muhammad both flying on the top of the horse. Allah and Muhammad, both of them changing their socks. Look, let me tell you. Is this. Allah no, and Muhammad are both amazed? Literally. literally. So. They're not one. Both, okay, first of all, they're not one. both Allah and Muhammad. Allah and Muhammad. So, so which one is correct? Why are you trying to put the word amazed into that second account, second in the, in the footnote? Well, <coughs> you're, put, you're putting the word amazed into the footnote. I'm not, I'm not putting that. I've got two different Qurans. Let me show it to you. So, if you want to make case, Surah 37 verse 12 has lots of lots of textual variations within it. Go and do that case. I'm making a theological point, okay? According to Islam, if you think oh, yeah, they, they are together, then you are saying Allah and Muhammad hangs out together, they go and drink coffee. If that's what you want them to do it, that's absolutely fine. Go and butcher. So, according this, according focus, put your brain together and ears together. So, according this, according to that verse, it, you have to pick only one of them. Are you going to pick Muhammad or Allah? Are you going to pick you or I? That's very very simple. So now let me open. I don't want you to give me an example. I already got the example. You just need to fix it. And then tell me which Quran needs to go in the bottom of the, I don't know, toilet or somewhere. I don't know where, where what you're people do with their Quran. Chapter 37 verse 12, right? Yeah, okay. I'm going to show it to you. I just want to know. I just want to know. Because in the Bridges translation, it doesn't say I, where the I was in. Alright, show me one. Which one? Verse 12. Truly dost thou marvel 
Yeah, the is you, right? Yes. Okay, good for you. I've got Arabic next to it, sir. Okay. Can you okay. Speak Arabic? Yes, some of them. The question is not can you read Arabic, the question is can you understand that magical language which Allah fails to communicate, <laughs> very basic. So, here's the same word, okay? Brother, can you bring them next to each other? Okay. Okay. So, one is Egypto, one is Egypta. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So, how can, how can, according to you, suddenly full meaning of the sentence is changing, okay? That's the first thing you've got to think through. But, but my core question is, who is the one amazed? Is it Allah or is it Muhammad? That's a very simple one-to-one -one question. It's not about I understand Arabic or not. That's, we can just see this. It, it is very clear. If you get on the line, I'll talk to you. I saw you on YouTube. on the line. It has nothing to do with you saw me on YouTube or not. I'm asking the very basic question. Is it Allah? Is it Allah or is it Muhammad, sir? First of all, all you need to do to find differences is read the blue. No. No, no, no. So there are differences. Now, okay, I don't want to talk about... There are, in the, from this one to this one, there are 5,000 differences. I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah, they are, they are giving the different meaning. So, they, they give different meaning. Of course, so, this is English and this is Arabic. Of course, it's going to be different. Okay. Really? Yeah, of course. This is you must be the next Arstein? This is the translation. This is so, the original. Of course. This is the Arabic. This is that is the Arabic. Okay, that yeah, is the Arabic. Brother, Arabic. brother, Arabic. brother, <laughs> brother, he just <laughs> left. He just wait, left the bosom of his mother's. Right, okay. Sir, can you please? Yeah, who made it? Who can made you it? please tell me? So is it is Allah or Muhammad? Who made it? Who, who so this is, uh, uh, well, this is the one that says Yusuf Ali translation. That's Yusuf Ali translation. Yusuf Ali. Okay. So if Yusuf Ali says that, so this is the half of the way. Which one is this? One? Oh, how many are there? I mean, it, but it doesn't mean that they're different. How many are there? Anyways, which, which so how many are there? Translation are different. Uh, if many there's many ten qiraat, I think, the and then three one. of them, there's probably seven qiraat. Or seven You I don't even know the numbers. Seven, seven how ahruf, many Qurans are there? Seven ahruf and ten and ten qiraat. Yeah. Seven ahruf and ten qiraat. Yeah. Are you sure? That's what I've learned. Yeah, you, you've got to do homework. Go to the primary school. So now ask for the basic question. Is it Allah or is it Muhammad? So if that one says Bil Ajibtu, and that one says Bil Ajibtu. So Bil Ajibtu and Bil Ajibtu. First of all, I need to see what the difference would be if it's two or two. You, you said you did homework. Okay? So according to your homework, which you said you did, what is the difference between them? The homework I did was the book that you showed me. Sir, sir, Which I did, I did show you this last week as well. What is the difference between I and you, ma'am? How old are you? Twelve. Is there a difference between I and you? Yes. Even the twelve years old knows there is differences. Allah doesn't know there are differences or not. You are over twelve. He knows there are differences. I am over twelve. There are differences. Arabic is already been read. I want you to tell me the differences. I want you to tell me the differences. This one, Bel Ajibtu. Bel Ajibtu. Okay. Bel Ajibtu and Bel Ajibtu. Well, Ajibta, okay, so what you, what's your point? So, Ajibta and Ajibta are different. Yeah, okay, what's the point? What is the difference? Was amazed. Was it what is the difference? Well, Ajibta, well, Ajibta, well, Ajibta, that's what Ajibta, that's what talking about me. I did Ajibta. You did Ajibta? Ajibta is a brand. Okay, that's you. In this one? Ajibta. In this one, yeah? Well, Ajibta, wait, but then I'll finish it. Okay. Well, Ajibta, yes. Well, uh, Ajibta is Harun. Okay, what's the point? Fatha Dhamma. You know Arabic? Ma'am, 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 focus. So you were amazed, the grammar, it was so you, in here, who is the one? So what's the difference? It's the same, same thing. How can it be the same while in this one it is you? What it says here, Bel Ajibta, why is Harun? And here, Bel Ajibta, why is Harun? What's the difference? You know yeah, you, you, you tell me. No, 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 it's in a grammar here, it's called Fatha and Dhamma. You tell me now, what's the difference between Fatha and Dhamma? Is there a difference? Is there a difference between I and you? Now you say I am answering the question, Mom. Pull yourself together. I am answering the question. Is there a difference between Allah and Muhammad? Ask me if you don't and the language. Yes, she, 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 there is a difference between Allah what, and Muhammad. All I'm asking is, 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 is it Allah the or Muhammad? Between Dhamma and Fatha. What's the difference? If you know the grammar. 
Because you're making a claim. I am not making a claim. Claim is here. There is a difference between I and you. Same thing last week. Same discussion. Still waiting for other Fatiha Hatun. Hatun. So don't harass me, please. Thank you. You are harassing me. I feel I am harassed. I am being harassed, officer. Yeah, he's over there. That's what you've done. That's what you've been doing. So, so, so. Can you check the time? كيف 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 الفرق المعنى؟ هي ضمة لها. لا أنا سألتك المعنى المعنى. معنى جايك. حلو. ضمة لها معنى مدلول والفرحة لها مدلول. أوكي. إذا عجزت أنا أتحدث مع هذا الرجل إذا عجزت. ما عجزت عجبت. لا عجبت ولا أتحدث. I'm recording, yes, sir. I'm recording, yes, sir. I'm recording, yes, sir. So, is there a difference? So, now he confirms that there is you and I. All I am asking is, which one is the correct? He already, he already made a point. He already made a point. Allah doesn't know. I am not Allah. I know better than Allah. I know better than Allah. I know better than Allah. Is it Allah or is it Muhammad? Yes. You know why you're gonna die. I know better than Allah. Is it is it Allah or Muhammad, sir? Which Quran is the correct? There is a difference between those two verses, the two on the top. Sorry? And the top. Yeah, that makes I to you. Okay, so that makes I, Allah is the speaking, you, Muhammad. Okay, so I am asking which one is the correct? It says, I'll even give you another difference right now. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I, I can't give you 93,000 differences. I am asking especially for this difference, but now we acknowledge that that is different and it does change the meaning. I am asking which one is the correct cross. That's very simple. If Allah was amazed, so is it this Quran or is it this Quran? Which Quran is this one? Al-Kha is this one? Khalat. Right. So, of course, this was also mentioned in the British Foundation. It's also mentioned in the all right, it's me. Just, just making sure it's safe. Sorry, I'm just making sure it's safe. So, in the British translation... No, no, no. What is my question? Okay, your question is whether it's high or it's No, no, no. We already established that. My question, listen carefully, my question is which Quran is the correct one? Okay, that's my question. They both work well with each other because... No, they might work well with each other, okay? Wife and husband get on well. Uh, boss and colleague get on well, two children get on very well, they work, they work better together. That's not my question. I am not asking, oh, are those Qurans are good at playing together and get on well? I am asking, which one is the correct one? Because last week you made a claim that there is only one Quran, but they are different. The question is, which one is the correct one? Let me elaborate on what I said. No, 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 I don't want you to elaborate on all that junk. Which one is the correct one? Simple question. Which one is the correct one? Both of them are right. So how can both of them be right if there is only one Quran? How can both of them be right if they are there are two different Qurans? What's the difference between Dhamma? Wait, brother. Tell me what's the difference between Dhamma and Fatah. Which Quran is correct, man? Which Quran is correct? Which Quran is the correct? Which one is the correct? Both of them can't be correct if there is only one Quran. There are two different Qurans. I am Holding in my hand. Okay, Which one is the correct? Since 1,400 years, 
then it be bold like you so said. So, which one is correct? Listen, 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 which one is the correct one Quran? Because only, only one of them is going to intercede for you on the day of judgment. Only one of them, okay? Not two of them coming together and working together to intercede for you. One of them is going to appear as a pale man and going to intercede for you. Which one? And watch, this woman is not even a Christian. It's always like that. I'm still waiting for the answer, Mohammed. So you shouldn't even give her any platform or anything. If you have any doubt, there is so many websites that she follows. They will give her Can I just express my freedom of speech is being taken away by the Dawah gangs? As Dawah gangs are coming and taking people away from my conversation. That's under the harassment. And she has to get paid. She's on the payroll. So what do you, what do you, what do you Please bring my pay slips. Jews are over there ask them why they haven't been paying me. Which Quran is correct? Coming and telling, the Wagans are coming and telling and lies about me. But which one is the correct one? You can lie. You can take a people away. On the day of judgment, when you stand in front of Holy God, you are not going to able to hold all those lies. Which Quran is the correct? One. Quran number one, Quran number two, Allah or Muhammad, which one? It does matter because two of them are not going to come alongside each other and then unite and then come play together, work well together. Only one of them is going to intercede for you. It's been a couple of minutes, Muslim Dawah, Islamic Dawah gangs are still begging other Muslims to not talk to me. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. What are those two books? It's true. They are the holy, so-called holy book of Muslims. It's holy what? Holy book of Muslims. Both of them? Yeah. Are they the same or different? They are different. So we have two Qurans that are different. There are 30, uh, right now I am holding two, but there are 37. How many in total? 37. 37. And what's the difference between the two? Oh, well, one of them says Allah, other one says Muhammad. Is Allah amazed or Muhammad amazed? I'm trying to figure that out. But as you can see, Islamic Dawah gangs wants to take my freedom of speech away and not allow me to have conversations. It is harassment. Mr. Policeman, oh, Mr. Policeman is over there. And they just turn blind eye to harassment. And this is harassment as well. I feel right now I am being harassed. Okay, so this one says Allah and this one says Muhammad. One of them says Allah is amazed. Amaze? Amaze? What's amaze mean? Wow. Oh, okay. And the yeah. other one says Muhammad, Muhammad is. Yeah, you are amazed. So I'm asking which one is the correct one? Because... In the same verse. Yeah, because Muslims believe there is only one Quran. Not even a dog change. So I'm asking if there is only one Quran, why there are different? Yeah. Sir, sir, which Quran is correct? Don't cry. If you are going to cry, go and stay behind your mother's skirt. Don't tell me, don't tell me what to say. Don't tell me what to say. Jesus doesn't love me. Jesus doesn't love me. Do you want it? Thank you very much. Oh, well, it's been wild. Dawah gang still not allowing them to speak to me. But here's the bottom line. There are different Arabic Qurans and still without any shame Muslims are making a claim that is only one. Apparently he's supposed to, he said he did his homework. After his homework, he become more confused and more messed up. Your mess only can be clean by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Turn to him while you can.